Can you install a BL Touch to Creality Ender 6? Is it easy or is it difficult? Things where you need to think of when you are going to install the BL Touch to Creality's Ender 6 here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related, you can find right here on this channel. If you are new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news and updates right in your YouTube alerts. And if you want to have an inside scoop before YouTube, check me on Twitter, Zagri underscore Bergen. And thanks for being here. So in this video, I'm going to install the BL Touch to the Ender 6. It's not very difficult to install the BL Touch, but there are some things where you need to take attention to. When you are going to buy the BL Touch, I will provide the link in the description of this video. The BL Touch that I have is from Antclaps. It's the original and it comes with the BL Touch, the cable and some hardware to install it in a normal situation. But if you are looking to the package, the cable isn't that long. To overcome the distance, I ordered the BL Touch with the extension wire. When I was going to install it, I noticed that the connectors were not correct. So I had to solder it, but that you will see during the video. Some preparation that you need to make when you are going to install the BL Touch. Make sure you have a formatted SD card or an empty SD card. Then you go to the website from Creality. I will put the link in the description from this video. There you will go to the Ender 6 firmware and there you have one, it is called BL Touch. Once downloaded, you need to unzip it. There you find two bin files. The one that is newest, you will take that one. Both are from January, but you will take the one with the newest version. So you install it here on the SD card, then that part is finished. Then we are going into the video and there I'll show you what to do. So you will remove any SD card that you already have in your Ender 6 and you're going to replace it with the SD card where you have the .bin file on. Make sure that when you are putting the SD card in your printer, make sure that your printer is off and then turn it on when you have installed the SD card. Before you're going to start putting the SD card into your Ender 6, make sure it is turned off. Take the other SD card out if you are working with a different SD card. Then you put your SD card that you have the .bin file on into your Ender 6 and then you are going to switch on the Ender 6. There you will see a loading screen until it is loaded, you don't do anything with your Ender 6. Then you switch off your Ender 6. So now we are going to start with the part where you need to remove the screws, three screws with the standard hardware which come with the Ender 6. So I use the Allen key to remove the fan shroud. On the back side or on the inner side from the fan shroud, there are two holes where you can install the BL Touch on. Make sure when you are going to install the BL Touch there, you will find some hardware which is not going to fit there. So I used, in my case, I used two M3 times eight Allen screws. If you got your kit from Creality, the needed hardware, the screws, the fasteners should be in there as well. Make sure when you're going to install the BL Touch that the connector is on the inner side and not on the other side. So make room that you can install the BL Touch connector. So in this case I installed the extended BL Touch wire.
with on both sides the small connector which can be installed on the BL Touch but also on the brake board from the Ender 6. It is a fiddly work to do but I managed to do that and I think you can do that as well. Make sure when you're going to install the cable that you don't bend any pins from the BL Touch side but also from the brake board. Then we are going to place the fan shroud back onto the carriage, installing also the three little screws with the smaller Allen key, and also make sure that the cable is nicely wired against the Bowden tube and also the cable management tube, which is already provided with the Ender 6. In a later video, I'm going to clean it up with a nicer cable wiring or some other thing that I have in mind with the Ender 6. Then make sure that everything is well tightened with some zip ties or some other methods you want to use to make sure that the cable is nicely managed over the cable boom from the Ender 6. And then the moment comes that you are going to install the BL Touch wire to the brake board or the extension board there you have a special place which is called you guessed it BL touch there goes the cable also be aware when you are going to press the connector right into the connector that you don't bend any pins there either it's a very fiddly thing I managed to do it without taking the back plate off so I think you can do that too lower the end stop from the bed and please make sure that you will remove the card with the firmware installed and put your normal SD card back into the Ender 6. And the moment is there. Switching on the 3D printer with a BL Touch installed. Now comes the good part. You will hear the BL Touch making some sounds and also lighting up in the color red which is quite normal for the BL Touch to operate. So before con going to continue with leveling your bed, make sure that you have preheated of PLA. In the menu, you will going to choose for settings and within the settings, you choose level. And make sure that your bed is going higher by using the screen itself. Then we are going to use the five point leveling method. So the nozzle is going to go to all of the four corners and to the center point to level as you would do in manual way. Using a piece of paper and go through the nozzle and your bed until the paper grips. Go to the next point and repeat that process two times. Once that is done, switch your auto bed leveling on. And so the installation of the BL Touch on the Ender 6 is done. Do you need to do anything in your slicer? I will hear you ask. Well, I put my other SD card back into the Ender 6. I had a Luke Skywalker as a print in there. I printed it without any problem. No problem at all. Also this articulating owl from Fixum Dude, also very nice done without any problem and also this little pick also from Fixum Dude it just worked. Installation of the BL Touch it is so simple on your Ander 6. If you would like to buy the BL Touch I will put some affiliate links in the description of this video. You support this channel without paying anything extra for it and you get some nice thing for installing on your Ander 6. Thanks. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters. Lawyer Moses, Michael and The Lightspeed. Thank you for your awesome support. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video. Thank you. If you're still watching this video, you are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. And while you're there, check out the merch in the merch store to support this channel as well. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prints. Bye bye.
You take the SD card, you put it in the Ender 3 